Patrick from Afterplay. Uh, and from today, uh, DS by default will run in your browser for every user. It won't be streamed. Um, this is good because it provides a, a better experience. Uh, your experience isn't dependent on your internet connection. Uh, the game loads faster. There's no latency issues if you have a poor connection or if you're on mobile or if your connection drops for, for you know a few seconds. So it runs just like Game Boy Advance or, or Super Nintendo or Genesis or any of those consoles. Uh, the problem with it is that uh, the save states are not compatible. So this is a migration guide of how to continue your game on the local emulator. And how it works is instead of loading the save state, what we will do is we will load the save game. Uh, so before you click update, definitely make sure you have a recent in-game save. And if you don't have a recent in-game save, uh, you can go to the console tab, switch on stream from cloud, which will make Afterplay work like it used to, and it'll, it'll uh, load up your game, stream it from the cloud, create an in-game save, uh, then come back to the screen and turn off stream from cloud. So if you don't have a recent in-game save, I would recommend you do that. Something I would also recommend you do is uh, just download your, your, your in-game save. So your in-game saves are under SRAMs. So just download the latest one of those just in case anything goes wrong. You can always get your game back from, from uh, an SRAM. So it's the save states that aren't compatible. So what we need to do is we need to go to uh, game and we need to make sure that auto load state is turned off and that will stop the cloud state from trying to be loaded into the into the browser state so turn that off what i recommend you do then is exit the game and go back into it and you will notice that the first download of the in-browser version takes a while depending on the ROM size depending on your internet connection um, doesn't seem to be too bad here but once it's downloaded once it's cached um, in your browser and it'll it'll load much quicker so this is one of the reasons why I went with cloud streaming initially was the the ROM sizes get quite large and they can take a while to download but then once I started caching the, the ROMs locally, um, I kind of got rid of that issue. The other thing is that on the local emulator, on a mobile device, the touchscreen doesn't work. Um, it's not a big issue for most games like Pokemon, but it can be for, for certain games. So if, you're, if the game you're playing is heavily reliant on a mouse, I would recommend staying with the cloud emulator for now but at least now you have the option. And some games just require the mouse for initial setup or for certain parts. You can always load the game in, on your desktop or your laptop, get through that part, and then continue on your, on your mobile device. So now that the game is loaded, do not click touch to start. That is very important. We must load in the, the SRAM first and so you can load it in by clicking play just wait a second or two and then you can click touch to start and this should load the game with your in-game save loaded up and you should just be able to to continue from from where you are um, and yeah you'll get some seedier stuff that's fine and you're back from from where you left off now the final part is um, you can now re-enable uh, auto load state so turn back on auto load state and it'll work um, as it used to. 
So yeah, it provides a much better experience. The sound is better. Um, it's just generally better if your device is powerful enough to run it. And if your device isn't powerful enough to run it, then you can continue with cloud streaming. Uh, but it's worth a shot. Maybe try out the local emulator with a game that you haven't played first to see to see how it runs. Uh, if you have been using the cloud the cloud system, see how it runs. If it runs okay on your device, then I would recommend migrating over. And if you don't want to migrate over, you can always just as soon as you open it, just turn on stream from cloud, and it'll work as it'll work as it used to. One thing I would be careful of is. Uh, opening up a game and letting it overwrite all of your your saves in the in the local emulator before you've migrated so just be careful with that maybe watch this video like one or two times uh, to get a handle on it and if you have any problems at all always just download your SRAM if you download your SRAM and you have problems I can I can restore it for you uh, come to the discord and I will I'll help you but yeah, thank you very much for, because this is for the people who have subscribed from the start. And thank you very much. I wouldn't have gotten this far without you. And I really hope that I can, I can make Afterplay even better over the next few months. I think the next few months we will we'll see a lot of improvements. But thank you very much. If you have any questions, uh, come on Discord. I'll be on there. And... Um, yeah, hopefully we can get you migrated over and it's a better experience for you. But thank you, thank you very much and I hope to talk to you soon.